In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to secure your NPCs. So recently, I created a video talking about replication, which is this video over here. And in this video, I showed that it's possible for a client that has network ownership of a NPC to change the state. For instance, the client could change the state to the dead state. So to demonstrate this, I've created a base plate project and inside of this project, I've created a dummy and I've set the humanoid root part to anchored equals false. And then I'm going to go into uh, studio settings and under the physics, I'm going to set uh, our region shown to true and our owners shown to true. And what I'm going to do now is go into the test tab and I'm going to create a local server with one player. We should now see the server on the left side and the client on the right side. And we can see the region around the client where they receive network ownership. We can currently see that the dummy is owned by the server. And once I walk within range, now the dummy is owned by the client. So let's first check the state of the dummy. So I'm going into view and I'm going to enable the command bar on both the server and the client. And then inside of the command bar, I'm going to type print workspace.dummy.humanoid get state. And if I press enter, and if I look at the output window, you can see that the state is currently in running. And if we did the same for the client, we should see that it also is in the running state. If I now change the state of the humanoid on the client side, it should replicate to the server because I currently have network ownership of this humanoid. So in the command bar, I'm going to write workspace.dummy.humanoid change state, and I'm going to set it to the dead state. And if I press enter, you can see that the humanoid dies for both the client and the server. And if we look at the humanoid on the server side, we'll notice that the humanoid's health gets set to zero. So how would we go about making sure that the client is not able to change the state of the dummy to dead? So the simplest way would be to simply anchor the humanoid root part. And if we now play the game, And the first thing we should notice is that we can no longer receive network ownership of the dummy. And if I try to change the state, if I say change state to dead, press enter. And if we go to this server side, and if I check the state of the dummy, if I say print humanoid state, get state, and press enter, we can see that the humanoid is currently in the falling down state. Now, if setting anchored to true is not an option for you, another option would be to create a script and to simply set the network owner to nil. So we can do this by saying script.parent humanoid.root part set network owner to nil. And this is going to force the ownership of this dummy to stay owned by the server and will never be owned by any clients. And if we play the game again, now we should notice that if we go into range, that the dummy still stays owned by the server. And if I attempt to change the state, so I'm going to say humanoid change state, I'm going to set it to dead state once again, press enter. And now we can see we've set the state, but we can still see the humanoid standing up. And if we go to the server side and we get the state, we can see that the humanoid is currently in the running state. So while setting the dummy's network owner to nil has fixed our problem, the downside of this is that now the server has to calculate the physics for this NPC. And if your game has hundreds of NPCs, your server may struggle to calculate the physics for all these hundreds of NPCs. A alternative to using set network owner to nil would be to have client-sided NPCs. And on my channel, I have a video, which is this video over here, 
and it's called Pathfinding Client versus Server. And in this video, I show you how to create client-sided NPCs that are kept in sync using attributes. But if you don't want client-sided NPCs, let me now show you a alternative method. So let's go back to the script where we set the network owner to nil, and I'm going to delete this line so we're no longer going to set the owner to the server. And the first thing I'm going to do is get a reference to the model. So I'm just going to say local model equals script.parent. And then all I'm going to do is disable the dead state. So to do this, I'm going to say model.humanoid set state enabled, and I'm going to set the dead state to false. So now the humanoid is going to be no longer able to go into the dead state. So if we play the game, and if I walk into range of the dummy, we can see that I receive network ownership of the dummy once again. And if I change the dummy's state to dead, we can see that the dummy dies on the client side. So we can check this by printing the state. Let's do print humanoid get state. And we can see that the client thinks that the dummy is dead. But if we go to the server side, and if we run the same command on the server side, we can see that the server thinks that the dummy has fallen down. So the dead state did not replicate from the client to the server, but we can see that the dummy has fallen over. And this is because the position is still being sent from the client because the client still has network ownership of this dummy. So if I quickly run out of the way so that the server receives network ownership of this dummy again, And now we can see that the dummy is standing up again. But as soon as the client receives network ownership, it passes the position to the server and the dummy fell down again. So now that we've removed the ability for the client to set the dummy's state to dead, let me now show you how we can handle death. So what I'm going to do inside of the head, I'm going to create a click detector. And inside of the script that we created, I'm going to detect when the click detector gets clicked. And when we click on the click detector, I'm going to deduct the humanoid's health. So I'm going to say model.humanoid take damage, and it's going to take 20 damage. And if we now play the game, and if I walk into range, and if I keep clicking on the dummy's head, we can see the health gets deducted by 20. And once it reduces down to zero, it dies for the client, but for the server, it doesn't die. So in order to allow the dummy to die on the server side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a function to the health changed event. And inside of this event, what I'm going to do is first check the health. And if it's greater than zero, I'm just going to return. I'm then going to check the state of the humanoid. And if it's already dead, I'm just going to return. But if it's not dead and the health is equal to zero, I'm going to enable the dead state once again. So here we disabled it and here we enable it. And once we enable it, I'm going to change the humanoid's state to the dead state. And then I'm going to break the model's joints. And if we now test the game once again, and if I click on a dummy's head, we can see I can reduce the health. And once it dies, it dies for both the client and the server. And if I have network ownership of the dummy as well, and I click on its head, we can see it dies for both the client and the server. So this is how we can prevent the client from setting the state, but still allowing for the client to have network ownership of the position of the dummy and also allow for the dead state to still work. Thank you for watching my video and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below.